Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, we're back on our Group B and this is our last race at Laguna Seca. Um, obviously normal, uh, we've got the five lap sprint race and then the longer one. Horrific fuel and tyres here but we'll come to that in a minute. Right, race underway as you can see. Uh, and uh, Bumble Top was on pole. But uh, Tepic there has got the inside line into the first corner. And as they go round, Tepic just takes the lead there. Well done to him. And off we go. Unfortunately, we come to this corner and there's a, a problem. Um, and the camera doesn't catch it. So um, we will come. I will take it back so we can have a look at what actually happened there. And I suspect it's cold tyres by the looks of it there. Um, as Tepic gets out of shape. Uh, let's see if we can find a better camera. Right, okay, so we're on the rear chase cam now. And it looks like he goes into the corner and there's just no grip on the tyres and he gets a slide and then he's on the sand and once he's in the sand, he's at it. He then tries to rejoin the track, unfortunately. The rest of the pack are coming round and there's a collision. So um, just uh, Tepic having the luck that I had at uh, Muabi by the looks of it. Anyway, we'll uh, get back to the race. So um, everybody's obviously bunched up after all of that because um, uh, we're just riding on board with Victor Meldew who was further back. Um, but yeah, after all that chaos, obviously we're all sort of bunched up and all over the place and in the wrong place. Um, so um, yeah, bit, bit of chaos there on the last race, but never mind. Um, we'll just flip through the field there. So I'm quite a way back now, having got caught up in that. Um, just one of those things, obviously not my luck at the moment, uh, obviously if you saw the race at Mwabi you will see how bad uh, I uh, had a bad start to that one, so um, this sprint race is definitely uh, proving to be a little bit of a problem. Um, and I don't think my problems are over to be honest in this race, I think I have another incident in a minute. So as we come up to the corkscrew there, I back off because um, we've got a few cars bunched up. Um, and round here, I think I just make a little mistake. I've got a lot of speed there. I just tag the back of the uh, other Honda there, the pink Honda. Um, and it just unsettles my car and makes me spin. And unfortunately, I collected Victor Meldew in that. We'll just take that back, see if we can see it again. So um, I, I've got quite a bit more speed than the pink Honda in front. Or red Honda in front and I just clip the back wing of him which you can see there <laughs> unsettles me and makes me spin and unfortunately I collected Victor Meldrew completely my fault um, there's nothing I could do I was a passenger at that point and the car was just out of control and spinning unfortunately Victor was next to me so unfortunately for Victor that uh, sort of ruined his race as well so apologies to Victor Meldrew there completely my fault um, just seems to be a few racing incidents at the moment that keep happening. Hopefully we'll we'll, we'll get some clean racing uh, soon. Anyway, back to this race. Obviously I'm out of it now. Um, so we'll just have a flick through. Uh, we'll probably skip to the end because I think after all this, as you can see, we're quite spread out now. And I think um, there's not too much to see. So we will skip on to the end of the old race. And what do we have? So we have Bubble Top crossing the line in first place. Well done to him. We have Dave Speed in second place. There he is coming across the line now. And in third place we have Mr. Fusion and the old Ford Focus there. So well done to him. Uh, definitely improving at the moment is Mr. Fusion. Anyway, so that wraps up that nightmare sprint race. We're now still at Laguna Seca and we are now going into the longer race. Um, which is about to roll. And as we come up to the line to get racing underway, as you can see, rolling start, reverse grid as always, and um, you will have uh, tyre issues in this one and fuel issues. Um, it's uh, quite a long track. Well, no, it's not really that long. It's uh, was it 2.2 miles a lap. Um, so um, you will need to stop 
at least twice. Um, I personally think it's a three stopper. Um, I did try a two stopper and I just couldn't make it work. Uh, it was too much fuel saving. But we'll see, I'm sure some people will. So obviously at the moment you've got the, the, the faster cars as it were from the back of the grid trying to get through to the front um, which is why we're all sort of collected there as you can see quite a few few cars all were uh, compacted together there Victor there in second place we've got Tepic in first place and Victor in second and then a, quite a gap back from behind Victor and you can see the rest of the pack there all sort of close together um, obviously uh, some people will have started on the hard tyre some people will have started on the uh, medium compound we had two compounds for this race so um, at, at the start obviously you don't necessarily know what other people are on so uh, you might be quicker than other people or you might be slower and a lot of that could be down to the old uh, tyre situation Fulcher there, Robbie going really wide and uh, Victor picks up another position. Um, so uh, Victor Meldrew doing really well as well, second place is holding his own and uh, go, going quite well as well as Mr Fusion. Everybody else seems to be going forwards, I seem to be going backwards. <laughs> Hopefully uh, we can improve. Um, let's have a little while oh, this is going on. Let's have a little chat about what we're doing next. So this is the last of the group B's. So I will revolt, revolt, I will reveal the results at the end. So uh, hang around for that in case you're interested. Um, so our next um, feature race, main race like this, is going to be a Red Bull Ring Special. Um, that's going to be a really good one. Um, there's no balance of performance. There's no tyre requirements, um, and um, basically we're in two groups, but uh, it is an individual event, so it's not a team event, um, but we're gonna have sort of multi-class, so um, one group will start in group four, and the other group will start in group one, and then as the weeks progress, you know, we'll, one group will go four, three, two, one, and the other group will go one, two, three, four. So you're gonna have group ones against group fours, group twos against group threes and so on uh, should be quite interesting we've never done it before we've done like a one-off race we've never done a championship like that so I'm quite excited to see uh, what what happens with that by using the multi-class hopefully it'll be quite interesting and I'm hoping to see some quite uh, good um, racing as you see the group one cars come through anyway enough of that let's get back to this so we uh, do skip on a bit to um, as you can see it's uh, it's gone a bit uh, right so we'll skip on to a, a, a few of the pit stops um, now I myself did a free stop um, as did Tepic and most of the field uh, you can see Tepic I think just coming in there um, Tepic led the race through, through I would say 90% of the race Tepic was in first place and uh, Bubble Top was in second uh, Bubble Top's currently in first there but I think that's because uh, we've got a pit stop going on I think. Um, but anyway yes so uh, getting back to what I'm saying so uh, I myself did a free stop and uh, so did everybody else um, including Tepic um, the only two drivers that didn't was Dave Speed and Bubble Top, and they managed to make a two-stop work. I'm not sure how they made a two-stop work, but hats off to them. Really good driving, saving their tyres and saving their fuel. As you can see there, uh, Tepic's back in first place after the pit stops. Um, but unfortunately, he will have to stop again. Um, and... Uh, because of Bubble Top and Dave Speed, yeah, we're skipping it on now just so we can have a look.
So uh, this is Tepic coming in for his last stop, I believe. And as you can see, that is Bubble Top going around the first corner there. Uh, the last corner, sorry. And Tepic still in the pit. So this is where Bubble Top is going to take the lead. And like I say, you know, it is a bit frustrating. I can imagine, uh, you know, Tepic was in the lead for, like I say, 90% of the race. But um, yeah. Uh, bubble top there and day speed brilliant strategy um, glad you made it work right we skipped the last lap as you can see and it is in that bubble top that crosses the line in first Tepic in second place there so well done to him and in third place we have Dave Speed so well done for everybody taking part in the group B's um, the final results were uh, bubble top was um, finished first in 217 points Day speed second on 165 points and Tepic on 160 points in third place. So that's your top three for the championship. Thanks for watching the championship. I hope you enjoyed the old group B's there. It's nice to do something different. Uh, hit the like if you liked it. And we'll see you next week at our new one, which is a Red Bull Ring Special. Thanks for watching.